Hey everybody, we are back for part two of the Facebook Live Supercell right here at Maddox Games and Comics, 205 North Hill Street in London, Kentucky. We're hoping that all the problems with Facebook are straightened out now, but we shall see. We shall see. Um, in fact, we're going to find out right now a little bit of it because we are going to share this thing out, and you should as well. In order to be entered into our hourly giveaways, all you have to do is like the Maddox Games and Comics page up top. That is step one. Step two, share in the live stream. Every time you publicly share it is another entry in to win our hourly giveaways. What do we give away? Generally comics. Whatever I find on hand at the time, usually cool stuff. Today, it's been some variants that have actually come out today. So uh, pretty cool there. I'm going to share it out on my page right now as we're going. It's me and Kenneth tonight here on the feed. He's going to be doing the uh, calling and the tracking. I'm going to be selling you guys some stuff. So let's see what we can do. All right, Francisco's on your A, man. Robert's back. I like it. Jason Black's on the feed. We have some people on here. It's going to build up. It'll take a few minutes, and it'll, it'll get there. It'll get there. As we're going, I'm going to finish filling up the board with comics. And we'll be replacing some of these comics out pretty quick, since a lot of these are ones that came out. Uh, I had up during the last sale that ended. Well, we just lost track of the timing on it. It ended. bound to happen what issue is action for 15 that is a good question ah oh, here we go uh jason this is issue 361 361 early early parasite 12 cent issue and uh, that is the parasite tagging superman he's getting two black eyes he's gonna bust his nose how do i know that he says it right there on the cover that that's what he's gonna do it is 15 dollars for this action 12 cent issue it's a uh, tag for 20 got out for 15 not bad Hey, welcome back to you, Nick. You still at work? This is from July of 2010. This is Power Girl, issue number 12 from DC Comics. This has an Amanda Connor cover, and that is Power Girl, Power to the People. There's all her supporting cast, and there she is, ready to go. Power Girl, issue 12. Gray, Palmiotti, and Connor. Really the same team from uh, Harley Quinn. Five bucks. Five bucks for Power Girl. Still at work till eight. Oh, I see. What condition is it? I would say it is in fine condition. It looks really good. Uh, one little spot here on the spine. Uh, the corners are look good. They're not rounded. Yeah, man, the coloring's good. I'd say fine condition. 15 bucks. We got any uh, horror fans on the feed? Any fans of Clive Barker or Hellraiser? Pinhead in particular. This is Hellraiser issue number two, cover B. And there is Pinhead sitting on his dark throne. Action for 15 to Jason Black. Thank you, Jason. That was a good purchase. That is a good issue. This is going to be Hellraiser. Issue number two for just $4. $4 for that from Boom. What is the ASM? That is a good question. I think it's this one. Yep. This. No, that's Bonic Woman. It's not ASM at all. Where is he at? Ah, here we go. This is Amazing Spider-Man issue 199. This is a 40-cent cover of Amazing Spider-Man. Very fine plus condition. This is a grade-worthy copy of this book. Uh, it is $17. Amazing Spider-Man 199 uh, from 1979. He's taking on Mysterio on the front. All right, this next book uh, for He-Man fans is Masters of the Universe. Masters of the Universe, issue number seven. This is from Image Comics. And on the cover, you've got Stratos. You can see, like, his eye. And in his eye, you see the skeleton of another uh, oh, a bird person, I guess. It is $3. Masters of the Universe, issue number seven from Image Comics. Hey, Justin's back on the feed. How's it going, Justin? Uh, 
Thanks for the likes and shares, Russell. Appreciate it, man. This is Fantasy Masterpieces, issue number 12. Fantasy Masterpieces number 12, starring the Silver Surfer. It is from 1980. Reborn, the Abomination, plus Warlock versus the Magus, which is the evil version of him. Uh, it is the Silver Surfer, Fantasy Masterpieces number 12. Very fine plus condition on this. It is only $6. For this classic Marvel comic. Let's take down this action for three. And put up the fantasy masterpieces for six. And let me know what you guys are looking for. I'll do my best to get it up here on the board for you. Tell me the characters you're after. I uh, found a few things during the break uh, between shows. Some stuff I think you guys will be down for. Plus, I've got a box of awesome stuff that, uh, you know, the rest of the box of awesome stuff that I hadn't yet put on the board. Oh, no problem, man. All right. Uh, this is Action Comics issue uh, 821, Jason. That's a... Uh, Art Adams cover for three dollars. Yeah, Ultimate Spider-Man issue eight. We're gonna give this away at eleven o'clock. This is gonna be a freebie. Marcus just brought me this. This is a uh, CGC Ultimate Spider-Man issue eight. It is a uh, eight point five very fine plus condition from two thousand one. It's gonna be given away for free at eleven. Nice. All you got to do is like the page up top, share the feed out, and comment at least once during the feed tonight. So uh, let's get those comments rolling. We're going to give this away for free. Is there already photos being posted on the feed? Yeah. I believe the Micronauts are getting in. This is way underpriced. The Micronauts Bronze Age number one right here. It's a 15 bucks. That's a heck of a deal, man. I'm not criticizing your pricing. I'm just telling people that's a hell of a deal. That is going to be free. I'm going to set it up here. Oh, I'll tilt it over here for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Is that right? That works for me. Yeah. I'm sure. Oh, yeah, it fits in there pretty good. Yeah. There we go. All right. What's the... All right. What's the Batman? Let me see Jason's glass. I'm going to let you know here. Uh, what is the Batman? Where is it? Ah, here we go. This is Batman issue 674. This is going to be $5 for Batman 674 from April of 2008. And that is Batman in a chair, getting holes drilled in his body. Five bucks. Very fine plus condition on that. If you need that action, let me know. We'll do what we can. Again, that is going to be free. CGC Ultimate Spider-Man Issue 8 for free tonight at 11 o'clock. All you got to do is like the page up top, share out the feed, and comment at least once. issue of action goes to Jason Black. Thank you, Jason. This is Men of War issue number eight. Men of War number eight. Why is Gravedigger turning against the Allies? Who is Hans Von Hammer, the enemy ace. That is a Joe Kubert cover. Very fine plus condition on this. Men of War, issue eight, for $4. I'm going to take down the, uh, well, I don't think the He-Man just yet. Let's take down the Helena number one, and we'll put out the Men of War for four. Oh, no problem, man. Yeah, it cut off on us before we realized it was time. I don't think it actually was. I think Facebook just glitched up. We were close to four hours, though, so it's really, it's just up to six. War for four to a Russell. Thank you, Russell.
Master Universe for three to Jay Collins. Thank you, Jay. This next book is a Marvel comic. This is Runaways, issue number three. Issue three of Runaways, uh, written by uh, Brian K. Vaughn. Runaways is going to be a Hulu television series. This is going to be Runaways, issue three. I'm still only going to put it out for just $4. Also for four, this is The Losers, issue 126, Our Fighting Forces 126, Captain Storm, Johnny Cloud, Gunner, and Sarge, shoot them for what they did to me, they must die, Joe Kubert cover on here, the guys are tied to poles, there's some wear here to the front cover, and uh, we're only going to put it out for four bucks, so, hey, it's going to even out, Our Fighting Forces 126, featuring The Losers for four dollars. Hubert for four to Russell. Thank you, Russell. This is a number one issue from DC Comics. This is Starman number one. Starman number one by Robinson and Harris. And it is from 1994. And uh, this is one of those books. It's like... If you're in the know, you know. Kind of like Sandman, Starman. If you know what's up, you know this is a good number one. I'm going to put it out at $9. I feel like that's fairly cheap. Starman number one, nine bucks. Jay, was it you that was talking to me about District X? Which supposedly was like a lead in, like kind of how they're basing all the stuff for Gifted. I think it was you I was talking to about that. But I cannot remember because my mind is not what it once was. I know, right? Pretty good price on that. Not one I see very often. It's just he's not one that, like, you know, it's kind of like Preacher. It's just tough to get people to snag. I don't know. This is Marvel Superheroes featuring the Incredible Hulk. This is issue number 64, 30 cent cover. It is from 1977. Umbu the Unliving. And uh, there you go. I think it's Kazar there helping out uh, the Hulk. Incredible Hulk, Marvel Superheroes, 64, $7. Very fine plus condition on that. I'm going to take down the Bionic Woman for nine. That's right, you did. I remember who was talking about District X being a what they're using for a lot of the. Um, maybe it's this kid. This kid's got like bone, like like porcupine things that come out of him, and they shoot out, and he kills a bunch of people. I don't know what his name is. Billy, I guess. I don't know. But um, maybe it's where they're doing some of the mutants. I don't know. I remember who was talking to me about District X. But I found some District X issues. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows anymore? All right. This is Robert Rodriguez's Machete. That's right. Machete. Right here. It's issue number zero for $5. It's Danny Trejo on the front. Looking a little more buff than what I remember. There we go. It's uh. Oh, that is Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman from Batman the Animated Series. Yeah, I sold it, Jason. Eclipse, Blink, Thunderbird, and Polaris. That's right. Which Thunderbird is interesting because he dies, like, way back. Like... Early X-Men, like right after Giant Size X-Men, where the, he was on the team, he dies not long after. Almost a couple issues after. 
Um, I do have some blink issues, though, Jay. I do have some blink issues from uh, The Exiles, which is the team she was on uh, after she showed up Major Age of Apocalypse. When she's in the regular Marvel Universe, she was in Exiles, which because where she can, uh, you know, kind of teleport. She can go through dimensions, and they, you know, basically like sliders, but it's Exiles. Uh, machete, number zero for five. Um, let me see, Daniel. I think it's got it. Um, yeah, there's a, a paper in here. It's flipped around backwards, and it's actually uh, has a photograph of him signing the print and talks about it. It's actually on here. Yeah. And it is in a uh, it is in a sleeve to get it protected. Also, uh, I think it's maybe the last one of those we have. We've sold three or four of those. This is Power Girl, issue number 12 from 2010. Amanda Connor cover for five. I'm going to put out Machete, issue zero for five. This is Star Spangled War featuring the Unknown Soldier. This is issue 174. It's working. Nobody can tell we're not a Nazi tank, except for, you know, these guys about to shoot the tank. Uh, it's a Joe Kubert cover. Very fine plus condition. It looks immaculate. $5 for Star Spangled War. Take them. I'm going to use Micronauts. Uh, Micronauts number one for 15. That is a good deal on that. And I'm going to take down the uh, Hellraiser and put out the Star Spangled War. War for five to Russell. Thank you, Russell. Um, I do. I don't think there's, I don't think we have any comic ones. Uh, but we do have some from the Batman video games. I think we have Wonder Woman from the uh, DC Maybe the Legends game? Let me see what I have. Yeah, as far as the sign stuff... Um, I have the uh, Batman Arkham Origins. This is signed by Troy Baker, and it does have him signing it on the uh, little certificate thing. Uh, he plays the Joker in this game. He signed the bottom of that. Also here on the uh, Arkham Knight, this is Nolan North and Troy Baker, who voice Penguin and Two-Face. They have both signed that from Batman. And then this is uh, Courtney Taylor. Courtney Taylor. Sign this. She's on the back there. Uh, she uh, voiced Wonder Woman in Justice League Heroes. Those are the only DC signed prints uh, I have available. That's right, John. All you got to do, like the Maddox Games comic page up top. That's step one. Step two, share the live feed. Every share you do. Another chance to win. And comment on the page at least one time during the feed, which you literally just did it. So step three is complete. Uh, share the feed out. We are doing hourly giveaways. Plus, we're giving that away at the 11 o'clock hour. <clears throat> that is Ultimate Spider-Man. Issue number eight, 8.5 CGC for free. He does, Russell. Not only that, but it says Kevin Conroy, Batman. He wrote, he wrote Batman on there as well. I feel like it's exactly what you need. Machete for five. What's up, Jason Castle? How's it going, man? I haven't talked to you in a while. It has been a little bit. What have you been up to? Prison? Just guessing. This is uh, Our Fighting Forces featuring the Losers. 
This is number 145 of this. Joe Kubert cover. There's Gunner hanging off of a, a flagpole. It's getting shot down. Uh, there is a little bit of spine wear. Nothing too bad, especially for $5 for the losers. All right, man. Thanks a lot, Nick. I appreciate you, uh, appreciate you purchasing. All right. I like it, Robert. You're in it to win it, man. This is Frank Frazetta's Sorcerer. Uh, it's a one-shot. And uh, there is a sorcerer, in fact, a number of uh, creeped out demons, and the death dealer himself there in the background. It is $5 for Frank Frazetta's Sorcerer one-shot. Thank you, Kenneth. Kids playing sports and wrestle stuff. I feel you, man. I feel you. It's this one. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Russell. Russell got that losers for five dollars. Sorcerer for five to Jay. Thank you, Jay. This is uh, from D.C. It's part of a four-issue miniseries. I've only got one through three, however. Uh, this is Zatanna issue from 1993. I've got one, two, and three of the Zatanna miniseries for only ten bucks. Hey, Billy Bob. How's it going, man? Missed you last night on the new comic sale. Zatanna for 10 to Jay Collins. Thank you, Jay. This is uh, Our Fighting Forces, number 122, featuring Lieutenant Hunter's Hellcats. 15-cent cover on this. Run, Hellcats. This is the only way out of the Minotaur's maze. That's weird for one of these, right? To see a full Minotaur? I don't know. Seems like they apparently deal with magic. Uh, it is a Joe Kubert cover. It is in very fine condition. It looks great, man. The colors are super vibrant. That's going to be $6 for the Hellcats. It's been a bad week. Sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, it is uh, It is Kenneth. Kenneth is doing the uh, comments and the tracking tonight with me. Keeping track of all the cool stuff you guys are buying. This is Frank Frazetta's Neanderthal. It is a one-shot. And there are a bunch of Neanderthal men right there painted by Frank Frazetta. That is $5 for that. Let's see. Forces for six to Jason Dugas. Jason snagged that one. Russell just missed it. Don't worry. I got some more. I got some more Kubert on the way. Got some more Cuber on the way. <laughs> Autocorrect. <laughs> it's the bane of our existence. This is Our Fighting Forces, number 140, featuring the losers. What's one of us losers doing with that Nazi? That's a good question. That is a good question. This is very fine plus condition. Joe Kubert cover. And, uh, yeah, Nazi parade. And uh, the lady's hanging out in the back of the car. Hey, she wanted a ride. Six bucks. Free. That's right, Juan. That is going to be free tonight at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We're going to give that away. All you have to do to be entered to win is like the Maddox Games and Comics up top on our page. First thing. Second thing, share out the live feed publicly. Share it out. Share it as many times as you want. Make sure you share it at least once. Then comment in the feed 
which you literally just did by saying free. So that works, and you're entered to win. But we want you to comment more. We want you guys to comment all night. And at the end of the night, somebody who's done all, all three of those things is going to win that 8.5 CGC Ultimate Spider-Man. Except for me, because I'm not eligible. But all the rest of you guys are. Six. Jason. Jason got the losers for six. Jeff B. Russell on that. Got a horse race. Got a horse race for some fighting forces. That's right. Free is where it's at. All right. This one is a little higher in price. Uh, there's a reason, though. Uh, Alex Toth does the art inside of this issue. Uh, the cover is by Kubert, but the inside is by Alex Toth. Uh, this is our fighting forces. Um, Number 138, it's a ship. Our luck's finally changed, except for this Nazi submarine about to hit their lifeboat. Uh, it is very fine plus condition. It looks great. Joe Kubert cover, Alex Toth inside art. It's $8 for our fighting forces, 138. Thank you, Maddie. I appreciate that very much. Forces for eight to Russell. Thank you, Russell. This is Monsters on the Prowl, issue number 25. 20 cent cover on this. Colossus lives again. Stop him. If Colossus rises, all mankind is doomed. Colossus has come back to life. Abandoned ship. The guy's telling him to stop him, and he's like, oh, he's come back to life. Well, duh. That's why he's saying stop him, probably. Uh, however, there is a, uh, a crease line down here on the cover, somewhere to the spine, and down here it's kind of spiderwebbed a little. So I'm going to put it out for 5 bucks. Monsters on the Prowl, 25 for $5. This is Our Fighting Forces featuring Gunner and Sarge. Our Fighting Forces, 12 cent issue, number 77. Under new management, signed Gunner and Sarge. No foxhole, no home. And here they are fighting some pirates. Um, it is a Joe Kubert cover. And uh, there is some wear to it. A little bit of staining here. It's only five bucks. Our Fighting Forces, 77 for five. Monsters on the Prowl for five to Jason Dugas. And Runaways for four to James Smithers. Thank you, guys. This is Conan the Barbarian, Scarlet Sword, part one of three. I'm going to put this back out for $4. $4 for Conan number one. Forces for five to Jason Dugas. Thank you, Jason. Selling some books. Got a free CGC up there. It's going to be a good night. So how is everybody's Wednesday night going? Let's keep this thing going. Talk to me in the feed. Let me know what's up. Did any of you guys watch uh, Raw and SmackDown? What do you think of the recreation, uh, the reforming of the Shield? Birthday doesn't affect me. I know a lot of people like it. This is Journey into Mystery, issue number six from Marvel Comics. However, there is some spine breakage here at the bottom, uh, as in it's been kind of peeled away. It's just the cover. It's not the actual comic, but it is there. Uh, also, some wear to the top. Still not too bad. Journey into Mystery, issue six, for $4 from Marvel Comics. I know, right? I know. Nine bucks. 
Blow my mind. Blow my mind. This is from March of 2006. Joe Kubert, Sergeant Rock, The Prophecy, issue number one. And uh, it's a pretty nice work right there. A lot of it like he did with uh, Adams done with the uh, kind of the cardboard drawn on it with the white. Pretty cool there. Joe Kubert, Sergeant Rock, The Prophecy, number one, $6. just disappeared like they were just like ah he's gonna die just disappeared. or is it like he was just phased into oblivion or was he shanghai are you watching the new star trek the uh like the cbs or whatever exclusive online deal This is Marvel Double Feature featuring Captain American Iron Man. This is issue number nine, 25 cent cover. If one of those Savat kicks catches me, I'm finished. Can even Captain America survive the Blitzkrieg of Batrock? It is uh, $5 for Marvel Double Feature number nine. And then the Amazing Spider Man for 17. Oh, Captain Kirk visiting the planet Skelos. Gotcha. Well, you're probably going to want to avert your eyes for a moment, Jay, because I think I got some here. You might be interested. I'm sure a lot of people are interested in this, but I think you're particularly probably going to be down. This is Blue Devil, issue number four from 1984. Special guest stars, Superman, Elongated Man, and Zatanna, who's on the cover with Blue Devil here. And uh, those are taking on stuff of Lovecrafty and things. Do you dare enter the house of Nibrios? He's still hungry. That is Blue Devil, issue four for $3. Then Batman for five. Zatanna thing for three. There we go. Thank you, Jay. This is Moon Knight, issue number two from Bendis and Maleev. And that is uh, Moon Knight with the head of an Ultron in his hand. This uh, takes place, Moon Knight's out in the uh, West Coast uh, with one of his multiple personalities. He's a movie director. And uh, he ends up with the head of an Ultron. And everybody comes after him. Moon Knight, issue two for four bucks. He also thinks he's talking to the Avengers and makes Wolverine Claws a shield and uh, web shooters. And becomes the other Avengers as he fights people. It's nuts. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I've managed to. Uh, I found some good boxes. Found some good boxes the last little bit. Plus, we got a pretty eclectic crowd uh, tonight on the feed, thanks to uh, the awesome Ultimate Spider-Man issue number eight, CGC eight point five for free. We got lots of people on here. Look at that, Ricky Evans liking and sharing. I appreciate it. <laughs> yep, it's going to be the 11 o'clock gig away, Rob. And uh, pretty much good. You just got to like the page up top, which I'm sure you've done months ago. Uh, share this feed out, which hopefully you've already done. And comment at least once, which you just did, asking about it. And you're entered to win. At 11 o'clock, we're going to give away that. Plus, we are doing the hourly giveaways. We're doing our first one at 8.30. We're going to do 8.30, 9.30, and 10.30. And then at 11, the slab. 
This is the Amazing Spider-Man issue 642. Awesome painted cover here. You've got Peter Parker, Morbius, the female scorpion. You've got um, Anti-Venom, or, yeah, Anti-Venom, and Venom, uh, Rhino. Awesome painted stuff here. Amazing Spider-Man 642, very fine plus to near mint condition. I'm going to take down the Deadpool variant from today. Had that up for a little bit. It is a cool one. Marvel Legacy, Despicable Deadpool, 287 for 10. What do we say? Free? No. You just took care of it. You just commented. You got to get in on the conversation. That's all you got to do. And you did. You're good. This is uh, Danger Girl and the Army of Darkness number one. This is a cover by J. Scott Campbell. Very fine plus to near mint condition. There's Ash and her taking on some deadites. Eight dollars. Eight dollars for Danger Girl, Army of Darkness number one. Starman's coming down for nine. Put that up for eight. This is from Topps Comics. This came out back when the show was on. This is the X-Files, issue number zero, based on the pilot episode written by Chris Carter. Six bucks, Topps Comics, X-Files, issue zero. I'm going to take down the Marvel superheroes featuring the Incredible Hulk, issue 64 for seven. We're going to put it back out for five bucks. Thank you, Travis. Now you got to share the feed. Share the feed. Sweet, Ryan. We like it. Let us know if there's certain characters you're after. I'll do my best to get them up on the board. $5. Marvel Super Heroes number 64 from 1977 featuring the Incredible Hulk. Put that in the Conan for four. Put that up for five. Any more action or Superman? Definitely, Jason. I'll put some out here shortly. I don't have a lot of older, but I do have a lot of uh, during that, you know, run from early 2000s. I'll put some more of those up. But I saw that boy for a Loki. Oh, yeah. All right, I sold one of these for $18 earlier today. I found two of these when I found them. I'm going to put this one out for 18 because that's what the other one sold for, although that is cheaper than what it's worth. This is from Garth Ennis and Derek Robertson. Garth Ennis, of course, creator of Preacher. This is The Boys, issue number one from Wildstorm. The book so insane that DC Comics canceled it and let it move to Dynamite because they felt like hypocrites, basically, when they canceled it because it poked fun at Justice League top characters. Super graphic, super violent, super funny. And all around awesome. This is The Boys, issue number one from Wildstorm from October of 06. It is a first printing. It is near mint, never read. It is $18. I'm telling that amazing for five right now. Generally, Spider-Man guys will hop on that stuff pretty quick.
I bet you will, Will. Whenever uh, 11 o'clock hits, you have as good a chance as anybody to win it. As long as you've shared this feed out, liked the page up top, and, of course, commented what you just did. This next book is The Worlds of H.P. Lovecraft. The Worlds of H.P. Lovecraft. The Picture in the House from Caliber Press. That is going to be $5. $5 for The Worlds of H.P. Lovecraft. It's all contained in this one story here. Five bucks. I'm going to take down the uh, Journey into Mystery for four, really. Let's start there. Did she just leap on him immediately? <laughs> uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. All right, take it easy. This is Action Comics issue 834. Once Upon a Time in Krypton. That is $3. $3 an issue of Action. The fantasy masterpieces for six. Put out the action for three. Fantasy masterpieces featuring Silver Surfer number 12 didn't sell. Well, we'll put it out for four bucks. Four dollars for that one. We'll take on the Moon Knight issue two for four. Put that out for four. This is Star Spangled War Stories featuring the Unknown Soldier, issue 179. Stay out of this, mister. This war is between us. Uh, they're all American soldiers, but things are happening. A town called Hate, Joe Kubert cover on that. Star Spangled War for $5. Oh, might as well put her out there. Let's see if the uh, 3D glasses are in this book before I price it. Let me see. Let me see. And they are. Not only that, they are DC 3D glasses. There are two pairs of them, and they are completely unpunched. And then there are the handles. Pretty nice. War for five to Russell. Thank you, Russell. That gives me room to put out this fun 3D Batman-related title. You guys are going to like it. Two pairs of glasses, which means you, instead of taking somebody out on a date, I'm going to spend some money. You're like, sit down. Let's read this comic together. It'll work out, guys. It'll work out. Guaranteed. To work 50% of the time. This is Batman Scarecrow 3D. Scarecrow 3D. Uh, it is uh, from 1998. It's going to be $5, and it does have both pairs of 3D glasses unpunched from the inside. $5 for that. It's time to issue a battle pope. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to know, but we'll find out. <laughs> All right, Jason got it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so Kirk has his pro. Uh, Kirk kind of has his priorities straight. Like he's like, "You're seven dollars in the ship." While she's kissing on him, it's not bad. He's a clear-headed individual. That's why he's a leader. This is Battle Pope issue number nine from Image Comics. Of course, this is written by Robert Kirkman with art by Tony Moore, who did the first six issues of The Walking Dead and has done tons of stuff since. This is uh, Battle Pope number nine. It is only $3. $3 for that. When he's not leading mass, he's out kicking ass. Three bucks for Battle Pope.
This is Batman Poison Ivy. Batman Poison Ivy. This is a one-shot painted cover. Very cool looking. About just $5. Yeah, I know, Russ. Like, I looked at it. It's going in between 25 to 40 as far as people what they're asking for it. Um, I sold one for 18 so I was like, well, I'll put up the other one for 18 But if it doesn't sell in the next couple of minutes, I'm probably going to pull it. And then we'll put it out in a few days at, you know, a little higher price point. I'll advertise it a little bit. I think a lot of people know that we have it. So it's just a different audience probably. Poison Ivy, one shot, it's $5. The uh, Frank Frazetta Neanderthals for five. Put out the Poison Ivy one shot for five bucks. So, has any everybody thought about being a cybernetic super trucker? Because if you haven't, well, this is going to put the thought in your head. This is US 1. As in like Highway 1, I guess. High adventure trucking down the highway. And here's this dude. He's got a US belt buckle. You got some type of sorcerer up here. You got this guy who's got like a robotic head. You got an 18-wheeler going off the rails. I don't know what's going on. It's from 1983. 60 cent cover from Marvel Comics. This is a number one, and it's all about some convoy action. We're going to sell this thing for $5. U.S. number one for five in what could be the coolest comic I've ever sold. Well, I don't know. I sold an Evil Knievel earlier today. But still, this is pretty good. U.S. one, number one for $5. I don't know, bro. Might as well pull down the boys. in this thing. Hmm. This is Spider-Man Chapter 1. Retailing some early Spider-Man stories from kind of different perspectives. John Byrne on art on this. Um, this is issue number zero. Issue number zero from 1999. There's Vulture, Lizard, and Sandman. We're going to be $6. Spider-Man Chapter 1, issue zero for six. Uh, yeah, Natty. Actually, I might have it. Uh, over here. I don't have a, uh, yeah. You want to grab me a copy? We'll get you one. Uh, I do, Jason. How much money are you looking to spend? This is the Spider-Man Chapter 1, number 0 for 6. Take down the uh, the Marvel double feature number nine for five. <coughs> you name how much they want the bundle to be, and I'll make a bundle to fit it. I'll hook you up. What's up, Ned? How's it going, man? Giving away a CGC 8.5 Ultimate Spider-Man number 8 for free tonight at 11 o'clock. Chilling like a villain. I like it.
Okay. This is Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. King-sized annual number one from 1977. 50 cent cover on this. Ever wonder what transpires on the 1002nd Arabian night? Sinbad was never like this. The Thief of Bagmom. And uh, that is Howard the Duck annual number one for $5. You can take down the Danger Girl Army of Darkness for eight. Put that up for five. Um, a stack like that, <laughs> a bunch, I don't know. This is Baby Teeth issue number five. Baby Teeth number five, awesome horror comic from Donnie Cates, writer of Redneck. This is um, $4, $4 for Baby Teeth number five. We're getting one for Natty, but we also have another here. If somebody would like to claim baby teeth, it's your time. There's, there's Natty's for four. Thank you much. Okay. So we got a lot of stuff on the board right now. Spider Gwen 24 from like a week or two ago. Um, honestly, don't know. Honestly, don't know. Um, we sold out of that or not? I'll check and see whenever we get the chance. Something bucks for the okay. Uh, on the board right now, we got a number of books on the board. Who would like to buy the board for $22? $22 gets you every comic on the main board on this screen right here. 22 bucks clears the board, put out a bunch more comics. I'm gonna flip the timer over. That's how long that offer stands $22 for the entire board. Yeah, sorry, man. We're out of the Gwyn right now. We should have more coming in, but uh, Kenneth has actually been redoing a lot of the comics, so he's seen them. And so uh, it looks like we're out right now. Whole main board for $22. $22 for that. All of them together. <laughs> you probably did, Chris. Probably picked them all up. Lovecraft for five to James Smithers. There you go. That knocks the board price down. We're going to sell the entire board now for just $18. $18 gets you every comic on the board. Every comic on the board for 18 Time is running low. Really, nobody's going to buy those comics for eighteen dollars. It's a good deal. Eighteen for the board for a giveaway. Awesome, Jay. I like it. There we go. All right. 
uh, we got some cool stuff. We got some cool stuff to give away uh, here in just a moment, actually. In just a moment, we'll be giving away that first one of the night here. And don't forget about the big giveaway tonight at 11. That is the 8.5 Ultimate Spider-Man, issue 8. I'm giving them away for free. This is Man Bat issue number one from June of 2006. It is by Bruce Jones and Mike Huddleston. And that is Man Bat. That's Kirk Langstrom turning into him. It is $5 from DC Comics. Here for three, this is Moon Knight. Moon Knight issue number three. And that is Bullseye on the front of that. Alex Maleev on art and cover. This is Power Girl issue 11 from June of 2010. That is an Amanda Connor cover, The War on Terra. And that is Terra. She's causing these rocks to shoot up. Power Girl is going after Amanda Connor cover and interior art on that. Four dollars. This is Fathom, issue number zero from Michael Turner. This is going to be $6 for this issue of Fathom. Of course, it's a Michael Turner cover. Sadly passed away. This is issue zero of Fathom for six. This is a cool one from Steve Niles, creator of 30 Days of Night. And Rob Zombie and Richard Corbin. So not only do you have one of the coolest horror artists going, you also have one of the best writers and Rob Zombie. <laughs> he knows a few things about horror himself. Big fan of the Devil's Rejects. This is Bigfoot. Bigfoot number one from IDW. Six dollars. Six dollars for Bigfoot. Written by Steve Niles and Rob Zombie with art by Richard Corbin. Very fine plus condition. I'm going to fill the board up and then we'll do the giveaway. This is Spider-Man and the Black Cat, issue number six of six, The Evil That Men Do. This has art by Terry Dodson, but it's written by Kevin Smith. That's right, director Kevin Smith wrote this tale of Spider-Man and the Black Cat. It's $5. Hey, Raw. I'm good. How are you? Can't speak for everybody on the feed. I don't know. They could all be in permanent torment. It's tough to say. <laughs> this is Action Comics issue 837 from 2006. Up, Up, and Away Part 2. That is $3. Uh, it's going to be a free Spider-Man roll. We are actually going to give that away. It's an 8.5 CGC Ultimate Spider-Man, number 8. And uh, we're going to give that away. All I'm going to do is like the page up top, share out the feed, and comment, which I'm sure that you've done. This is, uh, we had this out earlier. This came out today. Brand new lenticular Marvel for today. This is uh, the Despicable Deadpool, issue 287, and the... Uh, Older cover on the other side is Amazing Spider-Man 129. It alternates between Deadpool shooting Cable and the Punisher shooting Spider-Man. I'm going to show us up close to the camera. That 
Why is eight dollars? Eight dollars for that. It's the Jack Kirby issue of the Demon. The Demon issue number nine, 20 cent cover on this for only $8. Whatever you are, the demon will not run. Awesome artwork on this. It is eight bucks for that issue of the demon. And this is George R. R. Martin's The Hedge Knight, issue number four. We're going to do that for four dollars. Demon for uh, James. Thank you, James. This is the Phantom Stranger, issue number one. It is from October of 1987. It's got a Mike Mignola cover, creator of Hellboy. Is only five dollars for the Phantom Stranger number one. Thank you, George. Thank you, Francisco. Can't wait for next Tuesday. What's happening next Tuesday, Brandon? What is that Moon Knight? This is Moon Knight issue number three from the series by Brian Michael Bendis and Alex Maleev. That is Bullseye on the front. $3 for that. This is from Amalgam Comics, which is a mix of Marvel and DC. This is uh, the oh, last time they'll ever do this. Uh, this is from uh, 1996. Super Soldier, which is a mix of Superman and Captain America. Super Soldier one-shot. Well, it's issue number one, but it's a one-shot. And uh, it is $5. Super Soldier number one for five. Moon Knight for three to Raw. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. It looks cool. I like how the uh, the hood, it kind of looks like hair, but it's also the teeth. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised, James. It'd be cool. I just, man, I would think Disney and Warner Brothers just wouldn't want to share the load there, you know? Give me a second. Let me get a little sugar. I'm going to get a little sugar in my bloodstream here. <laughs> Action 835. Action 835. I don't honestly know. I will check to see, though. Give me just a second. Probably. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it is Saturday. <laughs> oh. Do I have any warm other issues? Nah, that first one sold out. Doesn't look like I have the 835. I got some around it, but I don't have that one. Is 
other than that in here. It's aggravating. This is The Walking Dead issue 167. This is the issue where Andrea dies. It is a certain doom. 167. This thing's changed quite a bit of the course of The Walking Dead the last few months. Five bucks for that one. Okay, on the Power Girl, number 11 for four. Put up The Walking Dead for five. <laughs> yeah, TV Andrew was horrible. Just like uh, TV, uh, what's her face? His wife. Lori. Lori was horrible too. <laughs> this is Kamandi, issue 52. Kamandi, the last boy on earth. The night creatures want blood. They probably do because they're uh, they're giant bats. And uh, they're going to sacrifice this girl. Kamandi's trying to stop them. Things are happening. Uh, Kamandi, issue 52. That's just $4 for that issue. We're going to get the Man Bat, issue number one. Speaking of giant bats, Man Bat number one for his Batman villain. Uh, it is $4. $4 for that. Super Soldier number one for five. I'm going to pull that down. I don't have a lot of those Amalgam comics anymore. I used to have a pretty good selection of them, but uh, they definitely disappeared over time. Sold through quite a bit. Quite a bit of those guys. Hey, Wally. How's it going, man? It has been a long time. You looking for anything in particular tonight? Let me know. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Issue number seven from December of 2002. And... Uh, you got Leonardo, who's all pumped up there. Uh, Raphael, Mikey, superhero style. And, uh, yeah, kind of a different look, kind of a superhero look to the Turtles here. TMNT issue 7 from Mirage. That is $5. $5 for that. I'm going to take down the uh, Action Comics for 3 All right, we got lots of people on here watching. Nobody buying. Nobody buying. Let me know what you guys are looking for. What kind of characters are you after tonight? And I'll do my best to get them up here on the board for you. Lenticular for eight to Mario. There we go. Thank you, Mario. Bigfoot for six to Derek. That was a good choice, man. Rob Zombie comic for six bucks. This is uh, Uncanny Avengers issue 28 with the throwback cover of Avengers 187. Uh, this is uh, basically Scarlet Witch's people tied up in both of them. It's $8. I'm going to show it to you real quick.
It is $8 to that Avengers issue. What's the number on the Hedge Knight? Wally, this is Hedge Knight issue number four. Issue number four. This is Marvel Superheroes featuring the Hulk and the Submariner. It's issue 51, 25 cent cover price on this. It's Man Brute versus New Men to the Death, Battle Beyond the Stars. That is $5 for this issue. What was the website for the lemon juice movie? T-shirts. Ah, ProWrestlingTees.com. ProWrestlingTees.com backslash Lemon Juice McGee for all of those shirts. This is Moon Knight. Moon Knight issue number four. Moon Knight number four for $3. This is the Abendus and Alex Maleev issue, and there's Moon Knight atop a big uh, ornate pedestal here. Very cool looking cover. Three bucks for that issue of Moon Knight. Take on the Fathom issue zero for six. No problem, man. Thank you. If you buy a shirt, let me know. Uh, Tosh has just been busy. Um, I think we've got a couple here. Think. Let me see. Yep, I've got a couple of Tosh's tie-dyed shirts available here. Awesome, man. I dig it. Make sure to uh, wear the shirt, tag him, put it on the page. Spider-Man for free. Yeah, Cesaro, or Caesar. We're doing an 8.5 uh, Spider-Man. We're going to give that away tonight at 11 for free. All you got to do is like the page, share the feed out, and, of course, comment. This is um, this is a tie-dyed shirt made by Tosh. This is a 2X. This is the Spider-Man Deadpool logo tie-dye, which I imagine is extremely hard to do with tie-dye. It's kind of amazing me with what she's able to do with this. It's on both sides, of course. That is the Spider-Man Deadpool tie-dyed shirt by Tosh. Any of these tie-dyed shirts are $15. She's been a little too under, uh, under the weather lately to uh, work on any. But we do have these still available for you guys. This is a uh, 2X. This is, I think, the Cheshire Cat from um, Alice in Wonderland. Cheshire Cat T. 15 bucks for that. And this is an extra large. This is, uh, I want to say this is an alien, is what she called this one. Just an alien tea. It's pretty cool. $15 for any of those. Those are one of a kind, handmade by her. What's up, John Thompson? How's it going, man? Thank you, Caesar. Mario's liking and sharing. I like it. Any cool new masks or helmets? Um, not recently. Not recently, but we got the cool ones. If there's any of our past ones that you haven't picked up that you'd like, let me know. No, none of that, Caesar. I'm uh, we're pretty much slim on a lot of the greatest stuff right now. Uh, like a Harley Quinn one. Uh, she's not here tonight, Kristen. Uh, Ken is here doing the comments. She's done Harley in the past, I'm pretty sure. But uh, I don't know when she'll be able to uh, make shirts again. 
But uh, you can request them to her. Um, she'll be here tomorrow. Uh, but I'm not sure what she's got scheduled as far as that goes. Any action figures? Yeah, Caesar. Uh, any topic in particular you're looking for? Actually, I got some big, awesome ones I'm going to show you guys here in a minute because I haven't showed them off lately. But first, we got a giveaway that I'm way behind on. We're going to do that right now. All right, so Jay bought a board for the giveaway earlier. I'm going to add something to it. I'm going to add an issue of Royal City number six. This is a Walking Dead homage cover. There's a DC Metal soundtrack coming out. That's, that's actually pretty awesome. <laughs> All right. This big stack of comics is going to be given away free here in just a second. I'm going to get the name here. And this goes to Mario. Mario de Ovando, Ovando, Mario has won this big stack of books. Everybody congratulate Mario in the feed. And don't worry, because uh, at 9.30 and at 10.30, we'll be doing two more giveaways. Plus at 11, we're going to be doing the slab giveaway. While I'm writing his name on here, feel free to be telling me some characters you're after. I'm going to show some action figures here in just a minute. Leave the press line for that one. Just like giveaway. That way they know to pack on you. Oh, they need to give away the kids pack for this one. All right. I'm going to walk around and show you these giant action figures. Hey, guys. All right. We're going to look at a few things. First, we're going to look at the Wolverine Premium Collection Wolverine Resin Statue. This is from Diamond Select. This came out today. This is brand new. That is Wolverine. It's 12 inches tall. And there he is on a very cool base from the Danger Room. He sliced through the gun in placement. He's got his cowl off. He's got his claws popped. He's relaxed and ready to try to take Cyclops' as a woman. Uh, this is $180. Wolverine Premium Collection Resin Statue. Also right here is the cool collectible. This is a previews exclusive collectible, which means it's only available at comic and specialty stores. This is the Infinity Gauntlet Lidded Cookie Jar. It is uh, awesome, and it looks like the Infinity Gauntlet, and you can put cookies in it, which are really, that's what it's all about. There you go, and there's Thanos wearing not a cookie jar in his hand. Really can be anything you want. There we go. That is the cookie jar for 40. It is very, very cool. All right. These are some giant action figures we got in. These are premium 19-inch uh, action figures from Jack Specific. These are in a very special packaging and special paint. This is the Flash. As you can see, that is the Flash from DC. It is number two in the set. There's the Flash. There's a bio about him. It's got Velcro here. You open the box. And there is the Flash full-size character. He features metallic paint on the figure. There's no uh, plastic on here. Like, you can touch the figure through the package. And then, of course, inside the, uh, the front, you can see all of these comic covers of the Flash. Generally from the New 52. That is the Flash. Very cool looking. Next up, we sold a couple of these last night. We sold Superman and Batman already. Uh, this is the Joker. He is number five out of the set. That is the Joker. There he is, uh, squirting the water out of his lapel. Well, that's acid. It's whatever. And it's the Joker. You open it up. 
Uh, the shipping on the cookie jar will be five ninety five. This is uh, the Joker. He has the uh, trench coat on. It is cloth. He also has a cloth fedora. This is a Killing Joke style Joker. Also inside, you do see the Joker covers from the comic. That is the Joker. And then last but not least, Harley Quinn, who's actually number one in the series. Harley Quinn on the back. You get to see a shot of her. Of course, also there's her bio. And the top, it also has the name. Very cool. Jack specific pieces. Open it up. There's Harley Quinn. She's in a black and gray kind of version here. And exclusive to this. And there, of course, is her comic pages inside. Any of the DCs here, these are $75 a piece. But that is shipped price on the larger DC figures. $75 a piece shipped to you. They have to ship separate. Look at this crazy size box they're in. So naturally, we're going to have to put these in a box by themselves. You don't have to worry about the shipping at all. $75 bucks flat get you any one of these shipped to your door. We sold the Superman and Batman last night. We've got these three available, and let me tell you, they are awesome. I particularly like the Metallic Flash. What's up? All right, dude. Take it easy. We will, we will. Everybody's excited about this giveaway. <laughs> yeah. I, I've been seeing a lot on there. Yeah. This is the uh, Wolverine resin statue. It is 180. All this stuff I'm going to kind of set out of the way for right now, so I'm just going to show it one last time here real quick. And this, of course, is the Infinity Gauntlet cookie jar. Now, the Infinity Gauntlet cookie jar, the Wolverine, the Joker, and the Flash, we only have one each of. Huh? Want to see the Flash again? All right. This is the Flash rotating around. Super cool Flash box. Like I say, it is Barry Allen. It's very nice. You open it up. The camera doesn't quite do it justice. It does have the metallic paint job on the figure. There it is, the Flash logo. And then, of course, you have all the Flash comic covers inside. Commemorative 19 inch. 19 inches. I mean, this thing's huge. Like, he takes up. Most of the packaging, so. Caesar gets the Infinity Gauntlet for 40 Thank you, Caesar. Of course, any of the action figures, the big size 19-inch action figures, these are 75 a piece shipped. That's to your door, 75 bucks. Caesar wants all three what? Oh, awesome. All right. Caesar gets the Flash, Harley, and the Joker. There we go. Sweet deal. That was a good purchase. That is awesome, Caesar. Whoa. Thank you very much. I don't know if I can hold on to them. I'd be the meanest way. All right. This is the Batman animated series metal figure. This is from Eagle Moss, who do all the chess pieces and the metal, uh, the small metal Walking Dead style figures. This is a larger figure. He's about four inches tall. He is on a packaging. He does have the Batman animated series magazine with him there as well. It's number one of six. There'll be six of these figures all together once they're released. Penguin, Harley, Poison Ivy, Joker, and Robin. Right now, all that's out is Batman. I think it's probably coming out about once a month. And uh, there is Batman. He is $23. I have two of him available. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. The Postal Service... <laughs> That'd be nothing. <laughs> yeah. Each. Yeah, yeah. Batman for 23 to Caesar. Thank you, Caesar. It's Batman for you.
I couldn't tell what it was. Seems familiar. All right. Uh, not yet. Not yet we haven't. Um, I know Disney got, Disney stores got the uh, comic version of the Planet Hulk Gladiator. And then, of course, the Marvel Legends store stuff. We didn't order those because they're at every Walmart, like, packed out. Um, but the Disney, the Marvel Selects, we did order. We ordered uh, Hulk and Thor, but we've not, we've not gotten them in yet. Oh, trust me, Chris. We get stuff from UPS every week where we get our comics. Never fails, man, those boxes. They're, like, supposed to be flat because they have comics in them. They're just upside down or sideways. Like, come on, guys. Um, no, I don't have any more Superman. We only got one of each of those guys, and uh, we got two of the Harley, but we got one of each of the main characters otherwise, and uh, the Superman and Batman sold last night. Staying on the planet to die of loneliness and taking off the Enterprise. <laughs> Do I have the last few issues of Snot Girl? Um, maybe. I'm not 100% on that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Snot Girl. Yeah, I'll, we'll check and see here in a bit. Um. Kenneth's catching up on uh, some adding some stuff into the spreadsheets and checking his private messages, and then I'll have him go check on Snot Girl for you. My friend knows how to get that free Spider Man. Yeah? <laughs> and how is that? Or are you saying he's wondering how to get it? I don't know, he's in, he knows how. I think he's got a plan. It makes me worried. Is he close? <laughs> no, wants to know. Okay. All you got to do to win the free 8.5 Spider-Man is simply like the Maddox Games and Comics page up top. Go to the top of our page and like us. Follow us all the time. Second, share this live feed out at least one time publicly. Share it as much as you can. We love it. But share it. Then comment. Leave a comment in the feed. Boom. Done and done. <laughs> yeah, Jordan. Yeah, yeah. Go to MaddoxComics.com, man. We got all kinds of comics up there. I think we're at around... 3,500 or something of comics on there. More getting put up all the time. I actually think a number of... Um, I know a number of comics from today were input, but I don't think they'll go live till tomorrow. But uh, there's a lot of comic reviews on there from us and all kinds of stuff, man. You can check out pictures of the store, all kinds of stuff on the website. But yeah, yeah, we're selling comics on there. We've actually had a number of orders coming through this last week. Sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> um, Spider-Man Black Cat, are you wanting that, Caesar? Or Caesar? This is Spider-Man Black Cat, issue number six, written by Kevin Smith. It's $5. 
Thank you, Frank. Thank you, George. Thank you, Chris. Jordan sharing it out. I like that. Five bucks to Caesar. There we go. Thank you, sir. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Let's put some more stuff on the board, shall we? Do we have any fans of Hellraiser on the feed? I got a couple Hellraiser issues. I can put them out there if you guys are down. Let me know. Any Rick and Morty? Uh, possibly Wally. Nothing older. Uh, I'll see what we have available. Probably not going to be a lot, though. This is from Marvel Knights. This is District X, issue number eight, with uh, Bishop basically as a policeman in a uh, mutant town type situation. It's a cover by Steve McNiven. District X, this is going to be $5. Somebody was saying on the feed that they're using a lot of District X-related stuff for the new uh, Gifted show. I'm not 100% on that. But I'm going to say take a chance because I found some District X in a box during the break, so why not sell it, right? District X, issue eight for $5. Looking for back issues? I'm not going to have much in that. Anything back to the future? Um, yeah, actually. Um, we've got some glasses, like glassware you drink out of. We also have... Um, the Mini Mates, it comes with the car, the Rail Ready car, along with Marty McFly and his cowboy stuff, and a hoverboard. Kind of like a little Legos type thing. Um, that's probably about it otherwise for Back to the Future. Not a whole lot of Back to the Future stuff. But if you're interested in any of that, let me know. I'm looking forward to watching Gifted. I haven't had a chance yet. Well, you see, I can do that. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you guys to Kenneth. I don't think you've been on the feed before, have you? Okay, well, I'm going to have Kenneth get up here, talk to you guys for a bit. I'm going to run and grab that stuff real quick for you guys and uh, be right back, and we'll continue on with this. Yeah, man, Legion's really good. That would be tough to tough to beat. Before I go, I'm going to put this out. This is Weapons of Mutant Destruction number one, WMD number one. And there is a Weapon H in uh, that vat right there that's got the cracks around it, which, of course, is the giant Hulk with Wolverine claws. $5 WMD number one. Set so that right here. I'm going to take down the Moon Knight. This is Moon Knight issue four for $3. All right, I will be right back. Kenneth's going to pop up here, and uh, I'll see you in just a second. Hello, hello, boys and girls, guys and dolls. How are you doing tonight? Caesar, what's up? So what's up? What are you guys looking for? What are you, what are you up to tonight, aside from hanging out with us? dead all right that's a good issue andrea dies but that's the cool andrea not tv andrea so don't feel bad about wanting to buy that because you know you probably do um what else we got going on here i think we have 
this one. Shh, don't tell Jason. I'm showing Jason. Jason. But the boys, number one, twenty three dollars. If you know anything about the boys, you know that is definitely something you might want to grab. Um, Wally, I thought the Drifter was all right. It was it's weird that they're using the Strucker twins for uh, spoiler alerts for the main characters, but aside from that, I thought it was pretty good. Um, weapons of mutant destruction. Okay. I see you. I see you. And that goes to James Smithers. For just five bucks. Can you hear me now? Better? We better? We good? Yeah? Yes, no? Maybe so? I got it. I got it, Caesar. I got it. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Ooh, sorry, James. Yes, Caesar. Caesar got you. Caesar got you. Don't worry, Caesar. It's okay. All right, it's okay. Upon further review of the play, uh, the last one is recalled. New play. Weapons of Mutant Destruction goes to Caesar for five dollars. But it's okay. I will go see when Jason comes back if we have some more. So don't fret. All right. <laughs> no need to hulk out, Caesar. No need to hulk out. See, look at. No, don't worry about it. But you got it. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> the diplomat. I've been called a lot of things. I don't know about that one. But I like it. I'll take it. Um, okay, so let's see what we got in here. You guys like uh Batman and the Outsiders? Hellraiser, eh? Clive Barker. Um Well, it depends, Wiley, because I don't think a lot of property insurance covers hulking out. So you want to be where you won't cause a lot of property damage to people who can't afford it. That's the only problem with hulking out. Also, I just realized how much shorter I am than Jason because of how tall the mic is. Like, like what's going on here? I don't know, but it's all good. Jordan, the giveaway for the Spidey Slab will be at 11 o'clock. So make sure you comment, obviously, which you've already done. Like and share the feed um, everywhere if you can. All right. The more, the merrier. Um, as far as the outsiders, let's see. Larry, I will not. On the record, say that's a good idea, but if you're going to choose some place to Hulk out, that seems like probably the top five best places to do it. Unofficially. Let's see. This is um all like Mike Barr, Jim Aparo era, outsider stuff. Was there one in particular you were looking at, or do you want to maybe get a bundle? Um, my favorite comics, modern-wise, I would say probably Starman and Justice Society, uh, Doom Patrol, Invaders, um, anything by Valiant. I'm a sucker by Valiant. Any, if you put Valiant comics on it, I'm going to buy it 99% of the time. Um... Let's see, Mr. Collins. I know quite a bit about your favorite comics, though. You do. You, you're a. You're a reg. 
We appreciate it though. We definitely appreciate it. Um, let's see what other what other stuff do I like? Uh, all new Wolverine's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, uh, long walks in the park. Star Starry Nights, poetry. You can't help what you like. <laughs> it is what it is. I got a couple of things here. I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, this is the Back to the Future trilogy. This is the pint glass from Cafe Eighties. Of course, the uh, this is like the glass like they have that they serve in Back to the Future Two when Marty goes to uh, you know pretend to be his own son and uh, can't order a Pepsi from a robot. Uh, this is ten dollars. Ten dollars for the pint glass, the Cafe Eighties pint glass. Also from the Back to the Future trilogy, this is a tumbler, and uh, this has, of course, there's Doc Brown. You've got Marty here in front of the um, courthouse. You've got the flying DeLorean. You got a little bit of everything around this uh, pint glass tumbler. It is ten dollars as well. And this is the Back to the Future 3 Rail Ready Time Machine Mini Vehicle with Old West Marty McFly. That's Marty. He's in his cowboy gear. You can take it off, though, put the hair on instead of the hat. You can actually lift the uh, doors, put him in the time machine. It does have the Rail Ready wheels, and there is a hoverboard for him inside the package as well. Uh, this is uh, 18 bucks. 18 bucks for the Back to the Future car. And... I don't have any back issues of Snot Girl, but I do have Snot Girl Volume 1. This is going to get you um, probably issues 1 through 4 of Snot Girl, if I was to guess. Oh, let me just show you. Um, the Tumblr for 10. Thank you, Caesar. Uh, this is Snot Girl Volume 1. That is just $10. $10 for Snot Girl Volume 1. I think it's the first four issues. Sadly, no actual regular back issues, though. Okay, no problem, James. Uh, the time machine for 18. Time machine is 18, thank you. You want to bid on the dragon head? Well, Larry, well, there's no bidding, but I will sell this dragon head for $850. 850 for the dragon head. It is from... Wizards of the Coast. It's official. This is the uh, D Red Dragon Trophy Plaque. And uh, it still has the tag on it here on the metal chain. Full, massive dragon head. 850 bucks. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, we'll get that for him soon. All right, we got you, Caesar. You got all three of them, man. Black and blue shots of Marcus. Oh, I don't know what that means, Larry, but I don't. If they're compromising shots, I don't want to see those. <laughs> Ah, good job. Yeah, we're going to bag and board these out for everyone. Huh? Oh, gotcha. Oh, playing paintball. Nice. You get tagged a few times.
there's any other action figures and stuff you guys are looking for, let me know. I can always run and grab them at the stuff that we have. We do have quite a bit of Ghostbusters action figures. We also got Ghostbusters glasses and stuff. Um, when it comes to DC figures, we do have quite a bit of the icons. We have the uh, Deluxe Hell Jordan with all the armor you put on him. Uh, we do have a number of the Batman animated series figures. We got a little bit of everything. And we do have a lot of Marvel Selects. Um, you just let me know. I'll do what I can. Here's your team captain. Nice. Any G.I. Joe figures? Sadly, George, no. Uh, not that we wouldn't carry them, man. I love G.I. Joe. Um, it's just that when we buy figures, we have to buy them in the package. Nobody ever brings us G.I. Joe collections of stuff in package. I would love to purchase them from them and sell them to you guys. Um, somebody brings them to us. Same with Ninja Turtles, He-Man, any of that stuff. Even the 90s Toy Biz X-Men. We'd be happy to buy some. Just nobody brings them into us. Board for 18 for the giveaway, perhaps? We got there. Yeah, it's not a bad plan. Yeah, Bruce, all you got to do to win that 8.5 Spider-Man, uh, Ultimate Spider-Man number 8, is like the Maddox page up top, sh publicly share this feed out, and comment, which you just did. So that's all you got to do, and you're in to win um, the giveaway. We're doing the giveaway at 11 o'clock, but we are doing hourly giveaways. We're doing the giveaway at 9.30, coming up very soon, then at 10.30, then, of course, at 11 is for that. All right, so, Jay, you want to sell the board? You want to buy the board for 18 We'll put it up. Anybody want to buy the board for $18? Claim it in the feed right now. You get every comic on the maiden board for only $18. If there's something you've been eyeballing, now's the time to snatch it. Thank you, Todd. Appreciate that. Yeah, we are on YouTube, but we can't take um, buys from people on YouTube because on YouTube you can use any name you want, and so we can't keep track of both feeds. So we are showing it to YouTube, but we do use the comment stuff from the Facebook. He's letting you guys know if one of you want to claim it for 18, now's the time, unless you're feeling lucky later. 18 me, Ryan Bolton. Ryan got it. Thank you, Ryan. That works. <laughs> All right. This is the Outsiders from DC. This is issue one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One through seven from 1985. We're going to sell these as a set. By Mike W. Barr and Jim Aparo. Oh, it wasn't an auction, Caesar. It was just a. Uh, it was just a purchase. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> I may auction something here in a few minutes. You never know. You never know. If I find something cool enough. All right. This is one through seven. Let me see. Um, all right. We're going to do one through seven. We're going to put them up for $35. 35 for the Outsiders, one through seven. And they are in very fine plus condition. They look immaculate. They're all here bagged and boarded, ready for you. 35 bucks for the set of seven of those. Let me kind of space them out here a little bit so you can see. It's more than, more than one book. More than one book. <laughs> yeah, now I'm gonna 
Got to keep it civil. Got to keep it civil. This is Howard the Duck, issue 14. Within man and fowl lurks a demon demanding to be set free, a duck possessed. There you go, Howard the Duck. With the devil in him, it is $4. Howard from four to Caesar. Thank you, Caesar. There you go. Jay's thrown up a uh, synopsis for that set there of, uh, well, at least the first little bit of The Outsiders. There's a gnat in here. I'm trying to kill it. It's attracted to, like, uh, bright colors. I'm trying to get on these boards. I was hoping to get it, but can't because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is The Exiles, issue number four. And that is Mimic on the front along with Blink. Blink, who is, of course, in uh, the new Gifted TV show. $4 for Exiles number four. This is Howard the Duck, issue 16 for $4, 30 cent cover. Special once in a lifetime album issue Deadline Doom. Howard the Duck for four. Exiles for four to Jay. Thank you, Jay. Blink action. Oh, Jay, do you want a uh, a bundle of Blink? Is that what you're saying? Exiles, Exiles for four. Okay. <laughs> like that. Okay. Graded. I'll, I'll do it. I will do it. I'll put a bundle together here in a minute. This is going to be $5. This is another Amalgam comic from Marvel and DC. This is JLX Unleashed to Stop Thin Fang Flame. This is a mix of the X-Men and the Justice League. JLX Unleashed for $5. This is The Flash, issue 114 for $3. Flash 114 for 3 from DC. This is Batman, Journey into Night, number one from October of 2005. That's going to be $5 for that issue. This is Madam Xanadu, issue number one from DC. That's going to be six dollars. This is Shauna the She Devil, Survival of the Fittest, one through four for twelve dollars. All right, take it easy, Brandon. Get you a couple hours sleep before you go to work, man. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. This is uh, three through ten minus number four of the Exiles featuring Blink and her team going through different Marvel dimensions. That is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven issues. Seven issues. All right, Exiles, seven issues for 22 bucks.
This is Vampirella and Lady Death. The end for six bucks. All right, Exiles for 22 to Jay Collins. Thank you, Jay. All right, we will, Brandon. I think we're going to have a good time. And hey, there's a very good chance you could win this as much as anybody. We'll let you know if you do. This is New 52 Batman, issue number 30, part of Zero Year. That's going to be $6 for that issue. This is Doom Patrol, issue number one from 1987. That's going to be $9. Batman for six to James Smithers. Thank you, James. Raphael, all you have to do to win the 8.5 CGC Ultimate Spider-Man number eight is like the Maddox Games and Comics page on Facebook. Like us, follow us. Then, publicly share out this live feed, this feed that I'm talking to you on. Share it out onto your page. Share it publicly. Share it into groups wherever you want. As long as you share it, that counts. Then comment, which you just did. So you're good. That's all you got to do in order to be entered to win. All right, this is, uh, I'm going to put this up for $2. <laughs> but it's cool. It's from Hanna-Barbera. It's the Pirates of Dark Water. I don't know if you remember that cartoon or not, but it was awesome. I had the action figures. Equally awesome. Equally awesome. Pirates of Dark Water issue four, Breakup. That's going to be two bucks for the Pirates of Dark Water. Those figures were like the kind, just like the turtles. Like if you put a new paint job on them now, like they look insane. It's just the sculpting's there. It's just, you know, they didn't pay. They didn't pay any money for paint. They just, you know, molded the stuff and did it. Mm -mm. I got a buddy who's been painting a lot of that type of stuff, man. It's so good. Pirates of Dark Water for two to Jay. Thank you, Jay. Um, it does. Like the main guy, yeah. And the artist, well, heck, it could be. You know, <laughs> for the cover they may have. I would say inside just playing off the tapes. I look like crap. <laughs> you never know. You never know. This is The Golden Age from DC Comics by James Robinson, Paul Smith, and Richard Ory. Book one of four. It's got a gold foil raised logo for The Golden Age. And around the JSA here, you got a gold circle. And it's all on fire on the cover of Life magazine. The Golden Age, number one from DC. It's $5. That's sold. Let's see what else we got here. Let's see what else we got. Let's do uh let's do another Pirates of Dark Water, shall we? This is Pirates of Dark Water issue number five for two dollars. From Hanna Barbera. Here's the main character. He's in this pit. Dude staring down at him. Two bucks. Two bucks for that.
Fires to Dark Water for two to Jay. Thank you, Jay. This is Swamp Thing issue 159 with probably the coolest cover you're going to see today. That's not artwork. That is a photograph of a sculpture of Swamp Thing's head on a plate. It's freaking awesome. $4, that issue of Swamp Thing. TMNT. You looking for turtles? I think I've got a couple turtle issues, Caesar. Do I have one out there right now? I think I still got two issues. I'm trying to remember which one. Yeah, that's Swamp Thing. That's Swamp Thing there for four. Um, I'll, put some, I'll put some turtles up here, though, Caesar. Uh, I have, well, toy wise on turtles, I'm limited. Um, but on comics, I do have a few. This is a Mad Max Fury Road Max Part 2 for $5. This continues the story of Max before Fury Road and the little girl that he's trying to save, which is the one that he sees in his visions in Fury Road. Everybody's like, oh, that's supposed to be his kid. And it's like his kid was a baby when he got killed. That's not it at all. Like, George Miller remembers a movie he made. Like, he obviously kept it working. This is the girl, and it tells why he's seeing visions of her and what happens to her. This is Mad Max Fury Road from Vertigo. It is $5. We're going to take it on the Flash for three. We're going to put up Mad Max for five. Uh, are you thinking about a bundle? Are you thinking about a bundle, Jason? Let me know. If you are, I can grab, uh, I can grab you some action. Put you together one. Batman for 60 to Caesar. Ah, oh, he's had his eye on it all night. All right. Thank you, sir. Awesome Kevin Conroy signed print. 60 bucks to Caesar. All right. What are we going to put up here? Wait. How big is my collection? 2,000, 3,000? Um, nothing older? Not not really. Not tonight. Yeah, I don't really have any um, older Superman stuff right now. Sorry, man. I'll keep an eye out for some stuff for tomorrow. But I, I didn't come across anything today. Um, 2,000 plus, 3,000 plus. What what are we talking about, Barry? Um, thimbles, because I'm a big thimble collector, and I do, I would say, 6,000 thimbles. No, <laughs> I don't collect thimbles. Um, Comic-wise, honestly, I probably have at my house 400 comics. I, I just don't keep a lot of them. I have, like, one long box that I keep turtles and the goon and stuff in. Uh, now Dark Knight Metal's been added to that. I'm going to have to get a short box just for all the metal stuff. Um, but for the most part, I read my comics. I love comics. I love reading them. I love just absorbing them all. But then usually I pass them out. I spread the wealth. Uh, Jarfly Brewing in Somerset, they have a little box in at the uh, brewery 
where uh, you can put comics and books and stuff for people to take. I put comics in there all the time. I donate them to the library. If my buddies come over and they want to read a comic, like, oh, this looks cool. I'm like, oh, here, take all these. So that way, you know, they can get into it. Uh, my daughter, anything I read that I think she likes, I pass her way. Um, so I don't have as big a comic collection as anybody would think, really. But I'm always surrounded by books. So it's like I don't, I don't think about it as much. Uh, action figures, though, I got a lot of toys. All right, so we are going to put this up. This is the uh, Symbiote print with Venom. That is $12. It does come in a top loader, ready to go. Very cool. It says Symbiote across the bottom. 12 bucks for that. Do it, Caesar. Come buy it all. <laughs> oh, talking about Jay Collins? Oh, Jay has 1 million comics. You got Goon first print? That's pretty nice. That's a pretty nice one I do not have. I do not have a first print of the original Goon before it was uh, Dark Horse. I don't, I don't have that. Symbiote. And then Caesar put some explanation points. Mario wants one. I think we have more than one of that. If you would, run out there to the wall and see if we have uh, another one of those. Yeah, yeah, because that's not signed, so I think we do have more. All right. So Caesar wants one, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I think he's had the alt in. And then uh, Mario wants one. All right. Let's see what we got. All right. All right, we got you one, and we'll get you one too, Mario. All right, this is Detective Comics, issue 608. This is the first ever appearance of Anarchy. That is $8. Mario, here is your symbiote print, and I got Caesars over there. And I do have one more of these if somebody would like to... Uh, Oh, what if, <laughs> yeah, I imagine you do. I imagine you do. Um, I don't have that one. I have sold it, though. In the last few months, I did have sell one. But, um, yeah, that was, I think, before we moved to this store, when we were at the other location, I sold it. Detective for, uh, hang on, how was it up for four to Caesar? Thank you, Caesar. Then Bruce wants the uh, Anarchy. Jason, I might have another one of those. I think I do. Let me look. I'm going to put this out real quick. I think I have another one of those detectives. Uh, this is Howard the Duck, issue 18. 35 cent cover for $4. Oh, this is one you might like, Jason. I don't know if you got this one or not. Secret Origins. This is Secret Origins number one. The Golden Age Superman. Beginning the new series where each issue is a collector's item. Secret Origins number one. It is from 1986. That is going to be $5. We take down the JLX Unleashed. Howard the Duck for four to Caesar. Thank you, Caesar. When you guys say Jay, I just think Jay Collins. I'm assuming you're just talking about good things about Jay Collins. Which he totally deserves, because he's awesome.
Yeah, sorry, man. That light ray was all we had for the new gods. To my knowledge. We did have a Mr. Miracle and Big Barda two-pack, but I don't think we have it anymore. This is the Joker print, like the symbiote. It just says, ha, 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 across the bottom. That is the Joker. It is 12 bucks. Who won the 930 prize? That's a good question, Bruce. Nobody, because I haven't done it yet. I'm going to have to do that right now. Let me put a book right here on the board, and then I'll, uh, I'll do the giveaway. I, I don't tonight, George, but I have sold quite a bit of Watt in the past, and I know that we do have some. Uh, it's just in the boxes that aren't really labeled for me to be able to run and grab them real quick, but I'll keep an eye out. So, uh, you know, just get on future days, and uh, I always try to remember, when you guys request stuff in the back of my head, I kind of leave it there. I might forget who's asking about it, but when I see the books, I always go, oh, somebody asked about this, and I try to grab them. All right, this is going to be the 930 giveaway. This is Youngblood issue number six. It came out today. I'm going to... I'm going to go insane if I don't kill this gnat pretty soon. Because <laughs> um, it looks like I'm insane just grasping at the air. This is Youngblood issue six. <clears throat> it is a Walking Dead homage cover to Walking Dead number one that is shafted on the front. This is art by Rob Liefeld. This is the uh, color version and the black and white. I'm going to give both of these away together. That's going to be our 930 giveaway. Youngblood issue six, Walking Dead. Number one homage set. Joker for 12 to Caesar. Thank you, Caesar. I did. I didn't find any early saga uh, in the stuff that I had. Um, I know the bins are pretty empty. I'm not saying we don't have any. I just don't think we have any in the regular bins. But as I'm checking boxes in the next day or two, I'm going to keep an eye out for early Saga stuff. All right, let's see who the name is. It is Jason Black. Jason Black has won the two Youngblood set. Everybody congratulate Jason on the feed. Yeah, Randall, we're going to give that away to 11 o'clock. It's an 8.5 Ultimate Spider-Man number 8. And all you have to do to be entered to win is, of course, to like the Maddox Comics page, which I'm sure you've already done, share the feed out, and comment, which you've, I'm sure you've done. I'm sure you're already in. You guys are going to be good. Also, for those of you who are aware, if you've won tonight, don't worry. You're still in to win, just like you're in to win every single giveaway. You're just as likely to win that as anybody else. So if you've won earlier tonight, it's not like, ah, I won these comics. You can still win the CGC. Board for 60 to Caesar. I, okay. <laughs> that's, that's fine. That's fine. We'll allow it. We'll allow it. Board for 60 to Caesar. It was the board you were wanting, right, Caesar, and not this She-Ra print for 60? If it's the comics, it's not a problem. We can grab you that. Let me know. <laughs> Whatever you guys want. It's Wednesday night.
All right. This is Mad Love. This is the Harley Quinn print. Mad Love across the bottom. It is $12. $12 for that one. Set it right there. This is Kiss Vampirella, issue number five. This is a black and white variant cover. It's been up for a couple times for 15 today. I'm going to mark it down to $12. $12 for Kiss Vampirella, issue number five. <laughs> I see you, Eric. <laughs> Has it been dropping you a ton? This is G.I. Joe, issue number nine. This is cover B. This came out today. This is the cover with the Baroness. This is the final issue of IDW's G.I. Joe, written by Aubrey Sitterson. That is $4. Harley Quinn for 12 to Caesar. Thank you, Caesar. Next up, we're going to put a Star Wars print on the board. Somebody's wanting uh, G.I. Joe for four. It goes to George Bruno. Thank you, George. It's a new issue with Joe there. My buddy Aubrey Sitterson uh, writes that. I almost got kicked off of it the other day. I think it's maybe why they decided to end it like they did. This is Scoundrel. This is the Scoundrel print featuring Han Solo from Star Wars. That is 12 bucks. <laughs> Any more G.I. Joe? I will, I will keep an eye out. There. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is issue number six from 2002. This is going to be $5. You got Splinter on the front in the doorway with a cup of coffee and a sniper sights on him. That's right. And I think they legitimately do kill Splinter in this. Like, I think he does die in that issue. I'll keep an eye out for G.I. Joe. I'll come across some more. I'll put it up. Are you looking for that series from the current series? Raw, it's been wild, man. It's been wild. This is Howard the Duck, issue 20. Sud, the scrubbing bubble that walks like a man. It's $4. This is The Flash, 310. The Flash featuring Dr. Fate. And he's taking on Captain Boomerang and Colonel Computron. Five bucks for that issue of The Flash. This is The Walking Dead hardcover that was released today. This is volume 14. It is still sealed and wrapped. It's supposed to be $35. I'm going to put it out for $33. What's up, Julio? How's it going, man? TMNT for five to Caesar. Thank you, Caesar.
Howard the Duck for four to Caesar. Thank you, Caesar. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue number eight for five dollars. Scoundrel for twelve to Caesar. Thank you, Caesar. This is Deadpool issue thirty. This is going to be eight dollars. I think this has a ten dollar cover price. On the cover, you got Deadpool on the moon, cradling the earth lovingly. That is eight dollars. That issue of Deadpool. Flash for five to Caesar. Thank you, Caesar. This is Iron Fist, issue number five from Marvel. This is going to be just $3. Iron Fist, number five for three. This is Voltron, Defender of the Earth. Or Defender of the Universe, or Galaxy, or something. I can't tell because he's got some type of weird orcs covering up the logo. This is Voltron, issue number one. For five dollars. Deadpool for eight to Caesar. Thank you, Caesar. I know, right? Should have link him to my link him to my pro wrestling tea store. Do I have Iron Fist number two? I will check in the box over here. I think I just had that one and maybe one other, but I'll look and see. This is Howard the Duck 21 for I haven't seen it yet, but I'm going to keep an eye out. This is Fantastic Four, issue number 10. That's the FF when Spider-Man was on the team. That's $3. This is a pretty big uh, issue of the X-Men coming up. I'm going to bag and board it. It's just in a bag. I hate that. This is Uncanny X-Men, issue number 390. This is the Death of Colossus. The Death of Colossus. The legacy virus cured, but at what cost? Well, the life of Colossus. It is $8. Uncanny X-Men, $3.90. Very fine plus condition. No, sadly, Raw. It looks like issue three is the only other Iron Fist uh, I have available right now. I'm going to put this out for just $2. This is Red Hood and the Outlaws, issue seven. How do you solve a problem like Bizarro? Well, you shoot him in the back of the head. Two bucks. Oop, found another one of these. I thought I was out. Got one more spot out here. 
This is Pirates of Darkwater, issue number six, for $2. Pirates of Darkwater, issue six, for two bucks. Let me put something else up here on the board. Red Hood for two to roll. Thank you, man. All right, it's not Red Hood. It's Pirates of Darkwater. Here's Red Hood. That's sort of the same but different. Pirates of Darkwater goes to Jay Collins. Thank you, guys. That, that's exactly what it was of Moss and Men, exactly. Old Lenny sitting there <laughs> with a cape on. Uh, this is Mutant. This is the Mutant print. Of course, that is the Wolverine. $12 for that one. This is a uh, DC, what's up? This is a uh, DC and uh, Marvel mix. This is an amalgam comic where two Marvel, a Marvel and DC character are mixed together. This is the Flash and Ghost Rider. It is Speed Demon, which is pretty awesome, to be quite honest. He's probably the, I think he's even cooler than Dark Claw as far as like overall cool looking thing and something crazy, like a super fast skull head with fire. The last thing you want. That's the last thing you want. Yeah, Speed Demon number one, one shot, really. It's five bucks. Spider Man Sins of the Father. Rob Portacio cover. No, Eric, we just got one issue. We got one copy of First Strike. We just got the A cover. That's the only one we got. Any early Miss Marvel? Um, not that I've seen. You want like you want like the classic, right? Early Miss Marvel, like stuff from the seventies. Mutant Wolverine print for 12 to Mario. Thank you, Mario. Boom. This is a Spider-Man print signed by artist Angel Medina. Signed in here on the bottom. This was a uh, wraparound cover when it was first printed. And uh, they use this on a lot of stuff. Uh, here it is in the back. Angel Medina, 11 by 17 photograph. He's uh, sitting there writing his name. You have to adjust the uh, pins there. sold some on my grandma had a phone or a tool book and I grabbed some of those. I think I think I have some of those. 
put too much weight. I had that in the bins. Like classic or even the new one. Okay. Oh, and Chris wants some Carol Danvers too. All right. I'm going to send Kenneth to go grab some Miss Marvel. This is uh, $60. $60 for the Angel Medina signed print. 60 bucks for that. Pretty much our going rate for kind of the uh, autograph stuff we have. Unless it's like uh, double signed or a Walking Dead thing. Those are a lot more. <laughs> oh, James. The f st free market. The free market. <laughs> This is Spectacular Spider-Man number 191, Eye of the Puma Part 1, Puma's Rage. Spidey's in the uh, black costume. It's $3. Nice. All right. $60. i am going to assume that that's this. All right. Grab that for you, Caesar. What if she is Fantastic Four or FF? Uh, this is FF number 10. Number 10 for $3. See, what do you put out there? This is Doctor Strange, issue 72. We're going to put it out for just two bucks. Doctor Strange, 72 for $2. Oh. Look at all his face. We're thinking of a walking dead. Let me pull that up for Caesar. There we go. Dr. Strange for two to James Smithers. Thank you, James. Whoop. It helps if I grab the right book. There we are. Thank you, James. You broke your computer, Caesar? It's no good, man. Oh, Caesar, you just missed out on that one. FF for three to James Smithers. Thank you, James. Thank you, James, for the right one. Yep, it is. I'll see if I put some more Doctor Strange up if I got some up here on the board. Let me look through here and see what else we got available for you guys. Somebody was asking about this on the feed. We got a lot of people watching, so I'm assuming one of you maybe did. This is Mage the Hero Defined number six. Only issue of the Hero Defined I found, but somebody was asking about that first miniseries. I got one right here for $5. All right. This is Buffy the Vampire Slayer issue 46 for $3. Buffy for three to James Smithers. Thank you, James. The wag is weak. <laughs> Lag does suck. <laughs> this 
This is the greatest showdown ever. It says so right on the poster. Skywalker versus Vader head to head. It's a cool fight poster of Luke versus Vader. It is in the top loader. It is twelve dollars. Out here in the spot where Buffy was. Oh, yeah, Miss Marvel. Let's do that. This is Miss Marvel issue number 39 for $3. Hey, we appreciate all that. We like uh, people buying all the stuff they can on the sale as much as they can. It lets us keep doing these things as much as we're able. It's gotten to now where it's pretty much all I do here. This is pretty much all I do is come and get on the sale, get stuff ready for the sale, and do the sale. Like, that's it. You know, it used to be uh, managing the front end and doing the sales and other stuff and doing ordering and all kinds of things. And now it's pretty much uh, get stuff ready for the sales. And, uh, of course, when the new comics come in, doing that order. And it's all because of you guys. Uh, Miss Marvel for three to James Smithers. Thank you, James. Uh, James, would you like... Um, We've got some action figures, and we've got, like, the Yahtzee Firefly with the Serenity as the cup for it. Um, as far as comics goes, I might have some graphic novel stuff, but I don't think I have any single-issue stuff. But let me know if you're interested in any of that. Like, we, I think we've got a Malcolm Reynolds action figure, maybe, small, and then we do have the 12-inch, like, premium format, like, sideshow style as well. I think it's made by Star Ace, though, who do the Harry Potter 12-inch figures like I got. Yeah, I haven't even done it for a year. We've just been doing it since like late January, early February. It's nuts. It's definitely uh, become successful. We like that. This is Miss Marvel issue 45. This is a variant cover to Miss Marvel 45. That is $5. It's got her on here. It says Miss Marvel established 1977. Very nice artwork. Five bucks for that. How much for the premium figure? Um, I'm going to go check. It's not bad. I'll actually bring it back here and show it to you. I got to get the keys and open the, uh, the glass case real quick. I'm going to have uh, Kenneth hop up here for just a sec. Be right back. Skr what's up? What's up? Caesar wants some venom and some carnage. James, so are you? Is there a specific era of Miss Marvel, or would you like a bundle, maybe? That would be a good idea to ask Jason when he gets back. If you're digging some Miss Marvel, because we got like Secret uh, Invasion, Civil War, Dark Reign, some of the stuff where Miss Moonstone or where Moonstone was impersonating Miss Marvel. There's a lot of good stuff there. What about the rest of you guys? How you doing tonight? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so speaking of the live sale, it's funny because they haven't been doing it very long. And I remember when it first started because I just moved into the area and I just started buying stuff. And then now look at I'm on the other side. I'm going to get quiet on me now. <laughs> Caesar, you can't. I, I like this shirt, too. If I, if I could, I'd let you buy it, but I don't know about that one. It would be very awkward. This dragon head is actually officially from Wizard of the Coast. Uh, it's like 100% official. Like... It's it's the real deal. Last I checked, I think it was like eight fifty. So, it is not cheap, but it is as legit as it gets when it comes to getting something like 
a freaking red dragon directly from the source. Wizard of the Coast. Beautiful. I, 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 I want to touch it, but I feel like I shouldn't, but I kind of want to. What do you guys think? My shirt, it's like a, it's like a large. <laughs> Robert, maybe he does need a new shirt, I guess. I mean, hey. Yes, Julio, I am having a very good evening. You guys definitely keep us entertained. Um, it's really, it's not even like work. It's kind of just like hanging out. You know, it's pretty sweet, actually. <laughs> Stranger danger. I need an adult. And then you remember you are an adult, and it's like, I need a better adult, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Something like it, yeah. Some cool stuff to wear, kind of cool. Yeah, we're not the same. Well, it won't fit you then. That's a bummer. Oh, that's a bummer, dude. All right, well, well, I didn't get this one here, but if we get one in, or we do have, to, we do have superhero shirts. Would you be interested in that? If I found one that was like a three X. Miss Marvel on the end. That is a variant cover of Miss Marvel that has. Gotta remember, it's like stage right, stage left. But uh, it's, this is a variant cover of Miss Marvel. It was established in 1977. Let's check this out. We'll get up close. It is a super nice cover. You should check it out. Oops, Smither, who wants it? Who wants it? James? All right, James, you got it. Okay. All right, well, this one goes to James. <laughs> Caesar is turned up tonight, boys and girls. But I'm digging it, though. I'm digging the energy. I'm digging the energy. Um, What else we got here? We got... <laughs> we do wow i don't know a live version of ventrilo for these sales would be insane i don't think anybody would hear anything it would just be madness okay what about Miss Marvel, number 16, Alex Rossi art on the front. Her and uh, Wonder Man look like they're about to get into it. Now stay. <laughs> Caesar's just Caesar's just very pumped up right now, guys. Let him let him all right. He clearly got into his zone, so let him let him just stay in his zone. Oh, and that one goes to Mr. Smithers.
<laughs> the Colorado ver- I like the way you put that, Chris Goss. I, I very much like the way you put that. Smithers already got that one, but I have we have a whole lot more Miss Marvel for you guys, so don't worry, there will be more. Now this is a pretty sweet cover because it's like a mix match thing of all three of like her dopest costumes. So hold on. Um, let's do that. So as you can see, it's like her classic costume, but also her binary costume. It's pretty, pretty sweet. That's one of probably one of my favorite covers. Well, of Miss Marvel. James on it again. Yeah. Yeah, Tim and C's are going for him. True that. Okay, now this one, let's see, let's see. All right, now, you guys got to get, get faster with it, man. S- Mr. Uh, Smithers over here is quick on the draw. Now, this one's going to be a slightly more, but I think when you see who's on the cover with good old Carol, you'll be like, all right, word, word, that's what's up. Marvel. Boys and gals. That's right. Not only does that awesome cover have some Carol Danvers, you also got the OG Captain Marvel right alongside Nega Bands and all, Cosmic Consciousness and all that good stuff. Oh, you got it. All right, and Jason is back. Go to the parking lot. There was a random car out there. Whenever we, I went out to the main to the main room. Of course, we're the one of the only businesses here, and we're closed. So like, there shouldn't be anybody out there. Their headlights were on. They're parked directly in front of my car. And then as I walked in, they pulled out. And I was like, uh, that's weird. And it's dark out there. And I couldn't really tell. And I'm just like, somebody's probably screwed my car. So I had to go out there and look. It happens, folks. It happens. All right. So. All right. Very cool. All right. This uh, this is that Malcolm Reynolds Firefly figure. This is uh, from QMX. This is the Master Series articulated 1-6 scale figure of Malcolm Reynolds. Um, I think I can show it. Does it have a display box? That's what I'm... It does. All right. Let me get this package off here. I'm going to show this guy off. Of course, these figures never look as good as they do once they're actually open and set up. Just because, you know, they're restricted by the packaging. The Firefly QMX Master Series Malcolm Reynolds from Firefly. I collect a lot of 12-inch figures myself. I do a lot of 6-scale with uh, Hot Toys and uh, 3A and Star Ace with uh, their Harry Potter stuff. I don't have anything from QMX, so I don't know the quality, but I imagine anything people put out now is going to have to be to a certain standard. All right, we open it up. There's the tissue paper inside. 
as you can see, there's a really cool picture of the figure. And here is the figure also. Um, we're excited to present you with Malcolm Reynolds' six scale articulate figure, labor of love, homage to Firefly. Um, the first Mal head was quite good, but the Master Series strives for the best in class, so we took the extra time and effort to show Captain Mal as his finest. We've included both heads to offer you a choice. That's pretty awesome. The first sculpted head wasn't to their liking. They put both heads in here. That is actually pretty awesome. Articulated figure. He's got his guns. That's the main head they've put on. And there's the extra head there in the bottom, along with the figure stand and probably some extra hands, things like that. Cloth clothes. Very cool. Got a magnetic closing box. There you go. Firefly figure. Uh, this one is, the price was on the plastic bag. It is uh, $150. But I'll let it go tonight for $140 if you want to buy it tonight on the sale. $140. That's a lot to drop on a figure. But to be fair, I just paid uh, $210 for a uh, Stormtrooper. <laughs> so, so I don't have a lot of comics. <laughs> this is. Uh, this is the Mal Reynolds six inch figure. This is from Funko. It's part of their legacy collection. Because of the pistol and a rifle, really articulated. The pistol goes into the holster. Uh, he is uh, twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars for the six inch figure. You saw on the internet where somebody jumped through a window of a store after stealing a comic. What? That sounds like the worst. Oh, well, if they were in Times Square, that means they were at Midtown Comics, which means they probably stole something worth $15,000. Um, so I can see bodily injury for that. <laughs> There's a chance it was Amazing Fantasy 15 or something. Midtown's right there in uh, around kind of the corner from Times Square. Really cool. Um, oh, there are a couple of spots. And I mean, they have about everything you'd want. This is uh, Miss Marvel issue 30, part of Secret Invasion. That is $5. $5 for an issue of Miss Marvel. Midtown. Yeah, who knows, man? Who knows what it was? It could have been a Hulk 181, like the one we sold a few weeks ago for 800 bucks. Could be any of that. <laughs> Missed you too, Jordan. Missed you all. They caught him? <laughs> I'd imagine so. I'd imagine so. Board for 30? I don't know. Let me look what we got out of here. Uh, I'd do the board for 35. I'd do the board for 35. There is a couple brand new books. 35 bucks for the board. If anybody does want to board the board right now, $35. You can get all the books up there. Yeah, did they say which book he tried to steal? $35. Okay, so Caesar's 37. It's not an auction. It's just the price. $35. So you want it for $35? We'll get it for you. $35. Bucks, all these go to Caesar's. Sorry, 
James Caesar get that one, but I will put some more Miss Marvel up. Yeah. All right. This is uh, Future Quest Presents Space Ghost, number one for $5. Did I show the Mal figure? Yeah. Well, it's not a premium format statue. It was the uh, six scale action figure. <laughs> this is Spectacular Spider Man issue 200. It's got the foil background on it with the Green Goblin and Spider Man. $12 for that. DuckTales. Sadly, I don't have any DuckTales. I think, well. Maybe the pop vinyls. Uh, 11 o'clock, Rawl. It's 10.30 now. It's time for another giveaway we're going to do in a second. And then at 11, we'll give away the Ultimate Spider-Man, Issue 8, CGC. I, I can, James. Yeah, I'll show it again. Uh, this is Miss Marvel, Issue 10, for $5. Yeah, it's, uh, it's supposed to be $150. Like I said, if somebody wants to buy it tonight, I'll sell it right now for 140 And if you follow six-scale figures at all, you know, that's a pretty good price. Uh, also, it has a note from QM inside of it. The first head they did in factory wasn't as good as they thought it could be, so they had them re-sculpt the head. They put both versions of the head in there so you can put whichever one you like on it. I'll show it to you real quick. <laughs> this is uh, the QMX Master Series Firefly Malcolm Reynolds 1-6 scale figure. Inside, you can see the picture of the figure inside is a magnetic closure. This is the figure, which granted you can't see all that well thanks to uh, it being strapped in there. He's got his pistol. He's probably got extra hands and stuff. There is a, a figure stand back there. That is the extra head and the note from them talking about putting the extra head in there. On the back, you can see a full shot of the figure, which is it's pretty awesome, to be quite honest. The thing is, I don't know if this head is the head that they didn't like or the one they put on later. So here it is. $140 for that figure. Miss Marvel for five to James Smithers. Thank you, James. You got it from your LCS two weeks ago. James! James! <laughs> Caesar wants it. That works. <laughs> Here you are, Caesar. I'll put it back in the plastic bag for you. Was 140. Thank you, Caesar. With the flag, sweet. Do you have any other six scale figures, James, or mostly just Firefly related stuff? <clears throat> I got the um, the Rogue One Shore Trooper was my last Hot Toys figure I picked up. I dig it because the uh, the Shore Trooper, they've got actual like cloth pants instead of just having the armor on. So they pose up really well. They look cool. Uh, Miss Marvel 32. That's Carol Danvers in her fly suit. That's $5.
This is Batman Arkham Manor issue number three for just two bucks. Two bucks for Arkham Manor. Nope. Caesar's good for it. This is uh, the Serenity print. That's the ship. She's tore up plenty, but she'll fly true. And it's got the Serenity logo here. Firefly's in the top loader. $12 for that. Then her uh, pop down Luke versus Vader. Then I put the Serenity up here. Oh, James wants it for 12. That was easy enough. <laughs> Thank you, James. If anybody wants another one of those, and me, he's got a Serenity fan. I do have a couple more of those out in the store. All right. James David Neal wants one. We'll get you one. 12 bucks. This is awesome. This is wood. This is uh, all new X-Men 97 with Cyclops taking on Havoc on the front of this. Um, it does have the hanger back here to hang it from your wall. Very nice. It's very much like the uh, Action Comics number one print we had up earlier. This thing has 30 on it right now. I'm going to put it up for $25. $25. For the X-Men 97 wood print. I do, James. The uh, six-inch mouth figures right here. He's got the trench coat. He's got a rifle and a pistol. It's $25. It's the Legacy Collection mouth figure. From Funko. Super articulated. 25 How are you even watching TV and doing this at the same time, Russell? How is this not entertaining enough for you? It's like wearing Gladiator. <laughs> Can't satiate the masses. Exactly, Chris. They did that in the... Um, didn't they do that in the 90s X-Men cartoon as well? Where like their powers, they just don't, they don't work against each other. Which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it makes zero sense whatsoever. We got Arkham Arkham. This is Howard the Duck issue 19. It's marked out. Howard the Human, a foul no more. That's going to be $4. I know, right, Jordan? It's because he's been around me for so many years. He just, he's, he's over it at this point. The honeymoon's over. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. I hear you. Oh, yeah, for sure, Julio. Rogue is pretty popular. We sold a Rogue number one uh, earlier today. I think it was today. This is TMNT issue number nine for $6 from Mirage. Oh, uh, let me see, Joseph. I think I've got the uh, Qbert cover. And the Deathstroke, I think. Let me look. 
Yes. I have uh, Dark Knight Metal Cubert with the uh, Doomsday style Batman taking on Superman and the John Romita Jr. cover with Deathstroke. We'll sit them out here. Those are $5 a piece for that new issue of Dark Knight Metal that came out. If you claim them, you get to be specific about what cover you like. All right, Russell got them both for 10. I think, let me see what I've got left, Joseph. I may have nothing more. Um, All right. Sorry, Joseph. I just have one of these left, but I did get you one of these for five. That's my last cubit. Uh, James, we are uh, giving away the slab. And we're going to give it away at 11 o'clock, which is coming up soon. In fact, it's past 1030. I got to do a giveaway, don't I? Yeah, I'm going to do a giveaway here in a second, and then we're going to give away that slab at 11, which is coming up. And all you have to do to get involved in the giveaway is like the Maddox Games and Comics page. Go to the main page here, like it, so that way you get all of our updates. <clears throat> then share this feed out, share it out publicly, and then comment, which you just did. So that's it, those three things, and you get in to win just as much as anybody. All right, James is back. I like it. That's a good question, Chris. That's a good question. Um, I would say possibly. It makes sense. Although, uh, she if she does the deal where she kind of puts you into a coma or basically kills you super quick, Leech is a little dude. There's a chance that she might wipe him out before she absorbs his stuff all the way. I don't know. I don't know. This is Invincible 96. This is one of my favorite comics, and it's about to end, sadly. Number 96 of this one. It is $5, written by Robert Kirkman. Oh, man, my voice is shot. Whoop. Uh, Deadpool today. I do have some Deadpool. Um... I've got this. This is Despicable Deadpool 287. That's the variant Marvel Legacy cover. It's a 1 in 10 cover. I've got it for 10 bucks. Came out today. Um, well, when I get home, nobody's going to be there. It's going to be late. So I drive home, listen to podcasts, drive about an, almost an hour home. Get home. I'll eat, watch some TV, read some comics, go to sleep. So uh, by in the morning, my voice will be fine. I said it's after wrestling shows, too. Even if I don't do much, I, I, I tear through it pretty easy. I'm going to start doing some type of like uh, vocal exercises, I guess, like singers do, because my voice, it's get, yeah, it's getting screwed up more and more. So I get to drink a lot of lemon water, I guess, <laughs> which would make sense. All right, James gets the Deadpool for 10. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you, Joseph. We're glad that you like it. Turns out good. Leave us a five-star review on the Facebook page, please, whenever you get the chance. There are. We do have a lot of James. We have a lot of James in the feed tonight. Uh, I do, Renee. It is $8. If you'd like it, you can claim it. Eight bucks.
I know, right? Well, I'm also working this Friday. Uh, Tosh is having some some things going on. I'm going to be here this Friday as well. So Monday through Friday this week, guys. I've not worked at Friday still in a while. Spotty for H. Renee, thank you. And uh, James wants one for A. I'll get you one as well. Here you are, James. That's yours for $8. Somebody else wants a lenticular Deadpool. Uh, that's also the Spider-Man. You claim it. There are always a lot of Jasons as well. It's true. And a lot of Chris's. Really, all the 80s era names. We're, we're all in the same, we're all in the same setup here. We're all black in the comments. This is kind of the deal. All right, we're gonna give this away. This is the all-new Wolverine Legacy 25 trading card variant. We're gonna give this away for free. Let me grab a name here, because I'm late. And then in just a few minutes, slab giveaway. So get ready. This is for Danny Gill. Danny, you have won the Wolverine. Everybody congratulate Danny on the feed, on the win. And even though Danny won, like I said earlier, anything guys had won today, you're still in the running for that slab. This doesn't, like, take away your chance. Oh, man. Well, good luck to you, Chris. I hate to hear that you have to deal with it, but hopefully it's something that uh, they can take care of with the surgery. Oh, yeah, those are good, Joseph. Those are good. I've been re oh, I love them. I love it. I love metal. Oh, Renee, that was this. It's the Spider-Man Deadpool. Is this not the one you wanted? Is this Spider-Man 129 and the Deadpool in particular? It changes over from Deadpool to Spider-Man with the Punisher and Cable. The Amazing Spider-Man, when we didn't get any Amazing Spider-Man in particular, like, for an actual Amazing Spider-Man book, if that's what you're after. If, if so, we can take it off if you don't want it. It's not a problem at all. I didn't even think about it. Uh, Daniel, we're going to give that away in just a few minutes. It's an 8.5 Ultimate Spider-Man number 8. All you got to do to get on the giveaway, it's not too late. Like the Maddox Games and Comics page. Become our pal. Follow us on your feed. Then share this feed out. Share it out publicly. And then, of course, comment, which you just did. And you're entered to win. Do I have any more Miss Marvel? All right, you'll keep it. All right, Renee, you're good. Uh, yeah, I do have some more Miss Marvel. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In fact, I have 13 issues of Miss Marvel right here. 13 issues. Civil War related, Secret Invasion related. We got even the new girl. Well, one of her. <laughs> We got this cool one. We got quite a few awesome Miss Marvel. It's called Ed McGinnis. 13 issues of Miss Marvel. We're running out of time. I'm going to bundle these bad boys. Thirteen issues. For forty dollars. 40 bucks, 13 Miss Marvel comics, all very fine plus to near mint condition. I feel like it's a pretty good bundle. Thank you, Daniel. Thanks, Michelle, Mario. Everybody's sharing it up. We love it. We love it. 
appreciate all the help. You guys sharing the feed out, getting eyeballs on the feed, spreading the word, letting them know that we pack your stuff good, that we try to hook you up with deals. This is Clive Barker's Hellraiser. It's issue number four. I'm going to put it up for three bucks. On the front, you got Pinhead. He's opening Pandora's box there. Three dollars for that. I don't, I don't quite remember. <laughs> we will. Anybody that wins, you don't have to be present to win. We will let you know if you win the comic. This is uh, the Untold Legend of the Batman, number one, 40 cent cover. That's going to be $3. Okay. That's not nearly as cool, I feel like. <laughs> Any other lenticular? Oh, uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I still have the Avengers. This is Uncanny Avengers 28 and Avengers 187. It changes over with uh, Scarlet Witch. She's got the Avengers strung up, and then she's doing it again on Uncanny Avengers. I can't really see it from there. I'll show it. I'll show it. Jason Dugas gets the Batman for three. Derek just missed that one. I didn't think that would last long. <laughs> this is the uh, Uncanny Avengers 28 variant. I got a couple of these. It's $8. That's awesome, Jennifer. But I don't think it's appropriate to uh, talk to me like that on the feed. Oh, Justin's on here. That's who you were talking to. Justin. <laughs> um, I actually might. Let me look. No, just two and three different covers. That's all I got right now. I see you, Joseph. I bet you got some lag. You may have to back out and come back in. It may just be a little slow on the video for you. Yeah, I can almost bet they're going to have to. I think they should do the Red Death as an animated movie. I think that Batman taking all the rogue's weapons and then going after the Flash after his family's killed, I think they can, they can, they can milk that for two hours. Easy. We've got 31 viewers. I think everybody's excited to see who wins. The slab, I think, is what we got going on. I think is what we got going on. <laughs> Oh, yeah, on your phone. I get it a lot like that, too. Yeah, you got to back out of the app, close it out, go back in. It's a whole, a whole mess. They are. I like I liked Murder Machine, too. I thought it was really good. Yeah, I, I didn't think I was going to like it at all. But I, I, I actually, I, I don't know. I think I was just like, I didn't know what I was expecting. And then I realized, like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alfred kill Alfred kills everybody. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be cool, Jordan. What's up, Sean? How's it going, man? What volume is the TMNT? Uh, it's from two thousand two, I believe, Joe. 2003 Mirage. So, um, 
It's about the time that, like, you know, they do the deal. Donatello gets a cyborg arm, all that stuff. First of all, you want to say hi to your mom. I'll say hi to your mom. Hello, Julio's mom. Is she watching the feed? Yeah, that's true. Volume 3? Yeah, I think so. I think so. It's still Mirage, but it's it's a later. Ah, uh, you know the deal. You got four turtles. They've been mutated. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Space goes from five to Joseph. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, and Ariel Olivier does the art on almost all of them. Every part of it. Because he, he did the miniseries, and then he did the uh, that, too, as well. Uh, no problem. This is uh, Miss Marvel issue 37 from Dark Rain. That's going to be $4. What about three turtles? They're joined by a fourth. They become a unit of ninjas. They like pizza. Of various types and styles. <laughs> um, all right, this is Conan the Barbarian, issue number one. Death covered in gold. That's going to be $2. This is the X-Files, issue 19. That's also going to be $2. This is the Mighty Thor 379. That's $4 for that issue. I'm going to take down... Uh, this could take... Well, I'll leave that up. I'll take down the lenticular for eight. We'll put out the Thor for four dollars. Thor for four to Jane. Thank you, Jane. <laughs> this is Warlock, issue 15 for seven dollars. What is it? X-Files for James Simon. Michelle gets Conan for two. Thank you. One minute left. We're about to do the giveaway. Who wants to buy the board right now? Who wants to buy the board? Who wants to buy the board for uh, 15 bucks? Right now, you get all the comics on the board. $15, $15 gets you every book up here besides the one in the close-up window, of course. That's the free giveaway. All these books for 15 bucks. Board for 15 to Derek. Derek got the board for 15 Thank you, sir. That wraps up that. Oh, yeah, x would be cool, too. All right. This is Ultimate Spider-Man issue number eight. Very fine plus 8.5. Working stiff. Indeed. Bendis, Bagley, and Thibbert. It's going to be free. We're going to give this bad boy away in just a second. Got to get a name set up. I'm going to let uh, Kenneth finish doing what he's doing there. And we're going to get it going. I want to thank you guys so much 
for buying stuff on the sale. It's been fantastic. It's been fast paced. It makes the time go by quick for me. It's going to be awesome. I'll be here again tomorrow and Friday. Tomorrow and Friday. So you got me for a couple more days. So uh, we're going to keep hunting for some stuff. All that stuff that you guys requested tonight, I'm going to keep an eyeball out for whenever I'm searching through the boxes. See if I can find you some stuff. I have to set on my throat. All right. I am live tomorrow. I'll be live tomorrow at around 2.30. 2.30, I'll be here, uh, you know, selling things. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. We'll probably do a tour sale out in the store. So if you want to look at around the store and see all the toys we have and all the back issue stuff and all the Funko Pops and all the role-playing games and all the video games on the statues, you can claim them live on the sale. And usually, I can work with the price a little bit. Um, we might do that tomorrow. We were going to do it today. And Facebook wouldn't let it because the feed was being weird. So we might try that tomorrow. So we'll see how it plays out. Flash second series. See what I can do, Russell. See what I can do, man. I've I had some flash pretty heavy the last little bit. People quit buying. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find. I'll miss you, Robert. I think we'll all miss you a little bit. Back to the future stuff. I'll see what I can do, man. We might have some more. Lucifer. That's Russell Singleton's action right there. Uh, we probably will have some Lucifer. I'll see what I can do. Okay. We get the name. We're going to give this thing away. Get ready. All right, are you ready? Give me a drum roll, guys. Like, give it through the phone. Like, just sit there and make noise with your mouth. Bang on things on the phone. Get ready. Where's a uh, note? It's uh, here. Here we go. And nobody gets salty. We only got one of these to give away. Lots of people went on this thing. But don't worry because this thing was successful. And when we do something successful, we try to do it more often. So there's a chance that this type of stuff will happen a little more often. As long as you guys participate like this tonight and bring in a lot of cash during these sales, psh, we'll keep doing this type of stuff. Jason Castle. Jason Castle is the winner of the Ultimate Spider-Man Issue 8, 8.5. Jason Castle, you're the winner. Congratulations, Jason, which is my last name, but it's not. I'm not eligible. Jason Castle's the winner. Everybody congratulate him in the feed. That was a good win. That was good. Cool, I like it. I like the congrats. Everybody's being awesome. I love it. Gets me excited. All right. Um, we are going to see you guys tomorrow around 2.30. Get ready. Marcus may be on earlier in the day. I'm not sure what he's got up his sleeve. He's always got some things planned, some good sales, some big deals anytime he's on. So get ready for that. And uh, I'll be here at 2.30. We may do a tour sale at 2.30. I think that's a pretty good plan. I think it's what we're going to do. This is what we're going to shoot for. Um, and then, of course, the board sell like 7 to 11. So we'll see what we can do. I'm going to try to find some stuff you guys are after. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again, guys. You have been awesome.